Okay, so what we got here for tonight is the tokusatsu set that I bought online. And usually, this set of 15 figures would cost around 1,500 pesos or 1,000 pesos. But that guy online sold it to me for only 500 pesos or $10 for all of these. So that's a big save. So 5 of these are 7 inches tall. 10 of these are 5 inches tall. All of these are rubber figures and has very limited articulation from 0 to 3 points of articulation for each of these figures. So, Okay, this guy is from the Ryukendo TV show. Very similar to Kamen Rider. This guy too is also from the Ryukendo TV show. This one is Kamen Rider Wizard in yellow form. You can see the height difference of the 5 inches, 4 inches figure with the 7 inches. This one is the Gold Ranger from the Beast Morphers. This is Kamen Rider Force with the twin cannons on the shoulder. This is another guy from the Ryukendo TV show. This is Go Badaba, a Kamen Rider villain. He looks like a Kamen Rider, but he's not one of them. Very similar to Kamen Rider Shin. Kamen Rider Wizard in regular form. Kamen Rider Dark Drive. Same actor from the guy who played Soro in that new One Piece live action show. This is an Ultraman villain. I just don't know the exact name of this guy. Okay, this is Power Ranger Blue Stag from the Beast Morphers show. Okay, this is Roki, one of my favorite guys from this set. Uh, he's from Wild Force, the main enemy of Power Ranger Merrick. Only two articulations, or sorry, three, three articulations on this guy. And what we got here is Black Bat, another Power Ranger villain. I just forgot which show he came from. And this guy has multiple articulations. This one is not a vinyl. I didn't know that. There's an articulation on the head, shoulders, elbows, knees, and feet. Okay, this one might be the best figure on this set. Okay, this is Kamen Rider Neo Decade less details on the back 
and last one we have is one of the newest Kamen Riders from the Reiwa era, Kamen Rider Revise. Not much details on the back. And this is not a vinyl. This is an action figure. You can see the screws on the back. Part in the head makes it look like it's supposed to make a sound. And here's a button at the back. So there you have it. The winning piece for this haul is these two guys. I did not expect I would get actual action figures. I thought all of them would be rubber vinyls. So yeah, I really got a great deal with these guys. Thank you for watching.